A warm welcome back to Attingham Park for episode 23 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's a lovely morning here on Attingham Park. As you saw, overnight we made the rest of the money from the biogas plant. Uh, the digestate has all been sold as well, that's all gone, that's clear. The money went all the way up. And it's come, I say, all the way back down. We've come all the way back down to 840,000. Oh, how will we get by today? <laughs> but what I'm going to do first is something I often skip over or I do a quick kind of, you know, jump cut thing. We need to sort all the animals out. It's part and parcel of what we're doing every day. So what we're going to do is start off. I've done the pigs over at Malthouse Farm. They're done. Uh, we're going to move that forward because that water tank uh, container needs to go through to the rest of the farm we're going to clean out the feed trough for the sheep then we're going to work our way across to the cows to the chickens check the pigs we're loving these jcbs absolutely loving them i mean unfortunately at the moment i might say unfortunately no they're doing the job they're supposed to be doing this one is is perfect for cleaning out the feed area which is doing actually we need another bale there on uh we'll go and grab a bale Oh, actually, I've got bale tines. I don't think I have, have I? And this didn't work, jabbing into bales, did it? But we'll take that. Can't be performed anymore. That's obviously full again, which isn't too bad. We'll drop that down. We'll move the wool bales out of the way. Then we'll head off and do those. Um, so, yeah, the money has come right back down again because I did say I was going to buy a second harvester, which I have. We are a two harvester family. <laughs> I am an X man. We have got another X9, uh, which we're going to be using in a little while because we have got some. The two fields that I kept on at 37 and 35 need harvesting. So I'm going to get both harvesters running on those. Will this do both bales together, or will the bales do a bit of a funky monkey and go all over the place? We shall see. Um, I've been. I know not enough. So not everyone's happy about it, but I've been playing. Um, a bit of snow runner. I, I was doing a bit of Far Cry, I've been doing a bit of snow runner, I've been doing a bit, bit of everything. Um, I haven't been back on Italia demo. I did kind of explain the reason why. Um, today is the first day, <laughs> touch wood, in about four or five days that I haven't started coughing horrendously every time I speak, which is what's been happening. It, I, every time I've started recording, I get this tickle in the back of my throat and I have these horrendous coughing fits. And I've been, you know, whichever one I was doing the other day, was it for the fact sheets? I've been using um, uh, throat stuff, I've been using cough mixture, I've been using um, strepsil, throat sweets, I've been drinking water constantly to try and stop it. And I'm fine, I'll sit for ages and I'll, I can play my game, I can do behind the scenes stuff, I turn the camera on, start talking and bang, the throat goes. Today, not so much. So like I say, I was going to stream. That was the plan, was to stream on Italia Demo. And I haven't been able to, because I thought I can't do a stream where I'm just coughing constantly. Nobody wants to watch that. I wouldn't want to watch it. <laughs> Who wants to watch a guy just coughing horrendously every time he opens his mouth? So um, I'm not, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do about that. Um, because we have got just over a week to go until the new game comes out. I have got a little surprise coming up with regard to that. I'm not going to say anything more about it, but I have got a bit of a surprise, um, which I am absolutely blown away by. Um, the first time in... How long have I been doing this? Since 15, so... Is it five, six years? Um, like I say, I, I know it's cryptic, but there's something cool will be happening. Trust me, it's going to be awesome. Uh, so yeah, I was hoping to do a stream before the new game came out because I was hoping to do some streaming when the new game came out. I think what I'm going to do, I think I can get water at the biogas plant, but I can also get it through the Ford. So I think I'll top up at the Ford. Not that it makes a lot of difference. I could have done it either. Uh, let's top that up. Providing, of course, once that's full, I've got enough. Um, I mean, it's uh, we've got a class eight. What was it? An eight sixty? Did I get in the end? Eight seventy. Um, and I think, like I said before, because I've got the the big 1050 and we've got the GNU as well, you kind of, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, this is the small tractor. 
it's an 870 it's not a small it's not a small tractor in even slightly so we'll head around the corn's growing nicely we've got that weird situation again where we've got kind of stepped growth for our poplars but they are growing i did get the whole field done it did take a while but it is all done it's not as pretty and neat as it could be or should be, but it is done. So, yeah. so I thought, yeah, we'll just, you know, we'll come along, we'll just have a bit of a chat, and you know, oh, it's all very exciting. Um, yeah, so like I said, I've been playing a few other things, and I know a couple of people commented, said, and I'll be honest, somebody very close to me commented, <laughs> or say commented to me. To say if I've got time to be playing Far Cry 6 and I've got time to be playing as I have been doing a load more SnowRun stuff, then I should be putting more time into doing these videos. Um, my argument to that is I've spent the last three years on FS19 putting in so much time into these videos. We are in the we're in the last week before the new game comes out. Um, and this is kind of, I suppose because this is my livelihood, this is what I do, and Farming Simulator is what I'm known for. And there is some argument to that. I, yeah, I agree, yeah. You know, there is some argument to that. I can't deny that. <laughs> um, but like everyone else out there, I am allowed to play other games. I can, if I want to. I'm more than... You know, I'm an adult, I can make those decisions if I want to... <gasps> I left the gate open. Um, I, I can play other games if I want to play other games. And I guess it'd be no different if, I, if I'd taken a couple of days off when myself and Mrs. CDP go to the Lake District or, you know, wherever we go away for a couple of days, sometimes I don't put videos up. So it's not, it's not the end of the world, let's just say that. So what we'll do is... Oh, I could have, what am I talking about? I could have just filled up here, couldn't I? Awesome. I will top up, although I don't think I'm going to need it. Uh, top up, please. There we go. From here, we'll go round to the greenhouse, and then the pigs. Make sure they're all topped up. But what we'll do before we do that, this only just about gets under there. The beacons, I would say in reality, I probably would have lost the beacons a while back. This is when I was cleaning them out last night. I completely forgot to shut that door. I sound like Larry Grayson, the generation game. Shut that door. Ah, <sighs> again, if you're a young'un, you probably won't have a clue what that is. You might remember the generation game with uh, Bruce Forsyth, but probably not Larry Grayson, I would think. <laughs> with his glasses on the chain. I am remembering that correctly, aren't I? Now, what I said about this other day, it was mentioned to me, was it Sandstorm or Cardboard Only? Someone had messaged me to say they had the same problem um, and what they were doing was just using the mixer. I had a thought about using the mixer. Could have been Bear and Papa, could have been Jeremy. Um, I've, I have a lot of um, regular commenters and I love the fact that people do, you know, I get lots of advice, lots of guidance, lots of, you know, when I say advice, people just suggesting things, you know, had you thought about it, have you tried, you know, because I said before, I'm not infallible, I'm not, you know, I don't remember everything, as you probably know if you've been watching my channel for a long time, and I'm human, and you get caught up in doing certain things, and, and the obvious things you don't think about, or you, or you just forget, you know. Or someone will say, have you thought about using such and such a machine to do so and so? And you think, oh, I, I just, I had completely forgotten. I, I honestly, that bit of equipment had just completely gone out of my head. So, um, you know, I like that. It's nice to have, it's like having a, you know, your conscience on your shoulder, just that little nudge every now and again, saying, what about so and so? Have you thought about blah, blah? And you go, oh, you know what, I hadn't. And I thank you massively for reminding me. <laughs> That's all I need, just, just some reminders here and there. The odd times, just a bit of a nudge going, oh, it's stupid. <laughs> you did so-and-so and you should have done blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, yeah. So I did. Interestingly, with this, I um, probably mentioned it a while back as well, I'm not getting any wastage, any food coming out. 
um, which is an interesting one. Then we have another berth here. We're not far off another berth at Malt House, actually. There's only six in there, but we're only a couple of hours off getting a seventh over there. So they are going to be producing. Obviously, the more we get from here that we transfer over to there, the quicker their re reproduction rate will become anyway. This is our, this is our, you know, it's farrow to feeder, isn't it? Farrow to feeder, feeder to finish, or farrow to finish, yeah. These are our farrows, and then we, we just move them on at feeder, and then they go from there to finish. That's right, isn't it? I'm very curious to see how it's all going to pan out on FS22 with seasons. There's still a lot of stuff that we, we don't know. There's a lot of ton more stuff we have found out uh, about FS22 and all the cool stuff that's coming. But with regards to animals, they did that kind of blog post about animals. I'm going to do is just stop there a minute. Um, and we've had the blog post about seasons, which hasn't gone into a lot more detail, apart from the fact you can turn it on and off. Um, and the thing is, as well, uh, I was talking to Google Pop the other day and uh, DJ. And I was asking DJ about, I don't know how he keeps up with everything. He said, just over the, you know, the last few years, building up those relationships with um, modders and anyone out there and just trawling through, like Silver News used to do, trawling through all the news, all the feeds, all the posts, you know, on everything. And it's find those little tidbits of information. Which, interestingly, and this is how I was talking about with Google Pop, when I did the Fact Sheet Friday and I said about the Meridian um, Augers, and I said what I would really love, and it wouldn't it be awesome if... Um, there was an auger like the ones you have where you tip into the auger like the Westfield augers and all the companies that make them which obviously Meridian do as well and you um, you fill the bin up from the top so it's an auger that takes it right up and it fills in from the top of the bin wouldn't that be really cool and Google, Google Pop messaged me and said um, have you seen this and there was a picture and it had been posted and this is the thing because you've got giants posting their blogs but then you've got a lot of the manufacturers that have been in the game because they're excited about the fact they're part of it they're partnering with giants how we're looking on egg boxes they're excited about it they're tweeting and posting and stuff saying you know we are now official partners with giants we're going to be in fs22 here's some of the stuff so meridian had posted on twitter a picture of that very auger if i remember when i edit i will put that picture up now so when i said about how cool would that be it would make it more immersive and it looks like that we're going to have that that's going to be absolutely fantastic I love the fact that's going to be added in. So yeah, as far as seasons go and animals, we still don't know about um, beef cattle. We still don't know. There's a whole load of things we, we still don't know. There's tons of information out there. And they're done for the time being, but they could probably do with um, some feed. Do the chickens now, and then we'll do the uh, clean out the manure for the cows and this is no different on any farm any of you that are playing the game any of you that are doing a let's play any of you if you've got multiple animals you're doing this every day you know this is part and parcel and this a lot of the times it's the stuff that this is farming you know I, I love all this side of it you know but this is the stuff that you kind of you leave out of videos or if you've done it a couple of times it's like well no one wants to really see that again do they and people know I'm getting the animals out so what's the point and I was thinking about it the other day, and I thought, yeah, but this is a massive part of it. This is part of your daily routine. So, you know, why not? Why not put it in? You know, it's uh, it's what I'm doing at the time. And I've always said, you know, with making anything, any content, it's not always going to be wow. Now, if there are new mods, if there's new bits of equipment, if there's cool stuff, if you're using something different you haven't used before, if you're using something that no one's seen before, or, you know, yeah, there's there's always that wow thing. There's always that big thing of I'm, I'm doing a massive harvest on this, I'm doing a huge harvest on that, I'm using, you know, I'm using six harvesters, or I'm doing, you know, millions of litres, whatever. There's always the wow factor of certain jobs and things you do. 
but a big majority of it is just normal stuff. It's just normal farming, and that's the enjoyment of the game. It's the, you know, yes, there's the sensational, and when I watch Mike Mitchell in Saskatchewan, and you've got, you know, 10 harvesters running, and you've got however many cedars of 80 odd foot lengths, and the widths, should I say. That's incredible, it's wow. But then you've got a lot of farmers, like people like Tom Pemberton, who've got like a couple of hundred head of cattle, do their day to day with fairly normal, regular equipment, and they just get on with it. You know, it's, it's funny how there's, there's, there's different sides to it, how things kind of poles apart in places. And I guess that's the same with this. But as I've always said, it's the beauty of the game that you can play it any way you want. You know, you can do the big open field farming or you can do small scale, you know, yeah, you, I don't know. Right, I think everything's been cleaned out. A few things have been topped up. I haven't topped up any feed. The feed I can do, I don't actually think, if we go and check the menu now, they're the ones at the livestock market. So those pigs are fine. They're down a little bit on straw pellets. So they're on six. In two hours, we'll have our seventh pig there. Sheep are absolutely cracking along. They're all full. Everything's dandy. Pigs in the pen here at Brompton. We've had another one, so up to 17. We've got another one in an hour and a half. That'll be up to 18. And when we get to 19, up to 20, I will move the, the excess back down to 15 again. We'll take them over and we'll put them up at Malt House. Um, our chickens here at Brompton are oh, doing fine they are going to need some feed I've just cleaned them out and the chickens in the large coop now if we had just trying to think was I over there originally oh my mind's gone blank because I said we would do the same with that for Mrs Tweedy we would sell the excess chickens I forgot what my initial total was, but they could do with some as well. Not a massive amount, but that's good. So, I'm going to take my harvester, and we're going to start on field 35, which is the one right here, which has got canola in. It's not a massive field, and there could be an argument what you need two big harvesters for. It's not like you're doing something like Dahl Ranch or, you know, massive open expanses of prairie land or Stone Valley or anything like that. If I'm doing one field with two harvesters, I, you know, like anything, I can get it all done twice as quickly. Or, now I've got two trailers, I can get two harvesters going on different fields. Hang on, lights, there we go. So I could have field 35 and 37 going at the same time. I have a trailer for each one and away we go. I take back everything I said about coughing. <laughs> oh man, got that tickle again. So I've now got a throat sweep. See how we go. I'm hoping if I can just numb my throat, <laughs> we'll be fine. Now, these harvesters, something, I don't think anyone's commented, maybe they have. Um, I have got X9s. These are US spec X9s. Because the European spec um, X9s have the hazard things here, the red and white. Or well, they have them elsewhere as well. And the hoppers doesn't go up that big. Um, they have like the canvas sided ones. I'm pretty sure when I was looking at them, I think this first one I got a, a US spec. We had it shipped. Um, so we're going to have um, the second one is also a US spec, which has been shipped. But I need to take this out to the field. We'll get this one going. And then we'll bring the other one. Like I say, we'll start on field 35. I'll get this one going as soon as I can set a worker off. I don't know if I'll bring the other one. What I might do, do I to bring the other one to do field 35 as well, or do I bring the other one to do field 37? I haven't decided at this point in time. The other thing I've just realised is I haven't given myself any room at this end for getting the harvester in, uh, for getting the header in. I might have to go all the way down towards the biogas plant without driving into the crops. Now, again, 
whether you run crop destruction on or off I used to always run it on because I wanted that more immersive feel of you know I, I can't drive over there I don't anyway I kind of got it in my head that's not something I do so I've got crop destruction off now and that came off the back of Stone Valley episode where I was doing one of the massive harvests because I did quite a few on Stone Valley of huge harvests and it was quite late in the evening I've been harvesting for a few hours and I think I had one of those micro naps if you haven't heard of those be very careful when you're driving and you're tired uh, a micro nap can be milliseconds or could be a couple of seconds and they did some surveys and stuff on people having micro naps when they were at the wheel and you don't realize you're doing it you don't realize you're having them and you basically you think you've blinked but in the time you've blinked some people were micro napping up to seven or eight seconds seven or eight seconds when you're traveling at 60 70 miles an hour on the motorway you're going quite a distance with your eyes closed and people were having accidents and didn't realize they just thought they'd blinked um, well I kind of did the same thing I got tired um, I actually remember to open it up look doesn't happen very often does it um, and I drove straight across the middle of a crop because I had crop destruction on and I just oh I caused absolute carnage and from that point on I thought you know what I, yes that's realistic I mean if you did that in, in real life yeah you would cause damage didn't want to do it again <laughs> so, so I didn't so we're going to whiz around with this X9 and because I'm now an X man with my two X's um, I'm X-y and I know it um, I'm going to um, go and grab the other one okay that one running as well two big old monster X9s and on the fact sheet Friday the other day as well we had um, obviously the, the Giants version of the X9. Oh, it doesn't look much different in honestly. I've still got a funny feeling the seed modding version is going to have more options. <laughs> I, I honestly think that. I think I allude, alluded to, but I didn't allude to, I said on the video. I was a little bit kind of, oh, I, I, because I'm using it. I'm using this here now because seed modding brought this out and it's awesome. And I think I was very much kind of, well, yeah, it's great. Had we not had this one in game, um, getting the fact sheet for the, the new X9 for FS22 it would have been more oh my god look at it it's amazing we've got the X9 but we've kind of already got it so I don't know I think that's what I said on the mod review as well I'm just I'm, I know there's a lot of people divided about the fact that the argument is still there that when giants have bought out previous versions of the game they are relying on modders to make the game great it's the same argument that I've had with, with the game itself of playing it the way you want to play it giants have provided a, a fantastic platform to play it on it may not be everything you want it to be or hope it would be and yes maybe the modding community does make that a lot better I think FS22 um, is a, a leaps and bounds forward in what they've brought to it um, is the modding community going to make it even better? absolutely it will and that's what I'm really really excited about is because of all of the stuff that they've done already and looking at all the new things that are going to be available in game seeing what the imagination and inventiveness of modders creates moving forward I honestly I'm as, I'm as buzzing for that as I am for the game itself it, it's going to be incredible what production chains are we going to see what what new machinery equipment from different manufacturers are we going to see you know I, I just I can't wait anyway I'm going to get the headlands done and then we'll get the other harvester brought over and we'll get them both running Harvester number two, please. I think I do that every time I get a second harvester, don't I? <laughs> Probably. So, we're in our second X9. Another US import. I think I just did it, but initially I just went onto them and I, I kind of was going for the big, I wanted to get the big grain tank. 
and didn't think anything of it. It was only when I came to look through the brochure to get our second one, I suddenly thought, oh, did I get the US or did I get the EU? So I went through all the EU options and it all looks absolutely fantastic. And then suddenly thought, hang on, that's weird. The EU one doesn't give you the large grain tank. Then realised I'd already bought the US one. Now, and also in the light of trying to keep my slot count down, because I'm up there now, knocking on 1200, I thought I've got to get the same as I've got already to keep slot count down. So I did just that, right? I'm going to swing across the grass here. Probably shouldn't do. Yep. Oh, that's a lot bumpier in the middle than I thought it was going to be. Going from that way. So what I decided to do instead, rather than do all the headlands with the other one, I thought I would do the um, let that one get off and running. Uh, disconnect that. Yeah, and let the other one off and running. And then, what am I doing? I can't even do that, can I? Oh, I tell you what, how do you drive a combine? <laughs> I mean, not like how do you drive a combine, but how do you do it? I suppose, again, it's that peripheral vision thing, isn't it? You can kind of lean, you can look behind, and you've got... Can't see much out of those mirrors. I wasn't far off, actually. Just think I'm going to hit that hedge, aren't I? Um, I've lost my thread again. Yeah, look through the hedge. little bit manoeuvring and we should get that lined up ish there we go look at it oh <laughs> it's always exciting when you get those new additions I've said it before that looks great down there look at it The proud owner of two X nines. Which way is it going to turn? Oh, that was close. Then he caused some damage. We do not want that. Oh, look. Couldn't have timed that bear. Thumbnail. <laughs> Thumbnail time. Yeah, so that's what I'll do. While well, he's doing the sort of the main sections, I'll go across. Oh man, look at that! It's going to make so much quicker. Is that cornfield ready to harvest? Okay. I'm not going to move on to that yet, anyway. But. probably means because I put canola in the other field didn't I over at field 12 growth yeah I didn't put anything in three in the end um, that's ready to harvest as well so I suppose we could get over and do that too it does speed the whole process up somewhat Like I said before, I'm not particularly a John Deere guy. I, I love farm machinery generally. Oops. Whoops. I was trying to get ahead of it. Yeah, I just generally like farm equipment and farm machinery. Um, but it's weird how on this one, I ended up with two John Deere. I've got a John Deere seeder, John Deere planter. I went for a John Deere harvester. It wasn't my intention to, you know. It just happened that way. Happy coincidence. I'm glad I did with these, though. Come on, hurry up, son. I ain't got all day. I've got work to do, and I. 
combine driver harvest oh no. Combine harvester driver was what I was trying to say then. Combine harvester driver. Hardest job in the world that is. I've been doing it 30 years, man and boy. Just channeling my inner fast show. <laughs> it would have been even better if I got it right the first time and not made that horrendous mistake. So Canola here, Canola on field, I mean, yeah, 12 when he did the other day, didn't we? And then we're waiting on our poplars to grow. Um, the uh, garden centre is up and running, obviously. I'm going to be taking our milk to there. Now we've got more cows again, so we should be getting a better production. I actually haven't checked that. What was our milk production up to? The question is as well now, do I, do I, hang on, where are we, down here. 5,855 litres, uh, but obviously we've got 44 cows now, so that's working on about uh, next animal in four hours, so we should get some more burst. Do I buy some more? The other question is, if we've got all this money now, and I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be buying any more equipment. Do we get another field? Something like field 16. That's expensive. <laughs> 735 grand. Or do I just go, because we're kind of right here, what are these going for? 179, 165. You know what? Oh, we're building our empire. Look at that. We're spreading right the way across up to Malthouse. We buy field two. We've got this big thing oh no i've just realized i've done it again haven't i do i just uh let's go to oh hang on oh growth they're both ready to harvest we've got canola and we've got barley i can see barley no sorry that was terrible oh, if you do if you like your tiktoks my kids did this for ages you might know what that is but i don't know honestly um what's wrong with me so what we can do is finish harvesting here i think we'll leave 37 we'll carry on with canola we'll do 13 we'll do 12 13 and 14 are going to need to be both um done soil sampled is the word i'm looking for yeah they need to be soil sampled but i'm going to harvest them first we'll get what we can off of them we'll get them soil sampled We've still got just under 500 grand sitting there in the bank. Do I go for another cedar? Or a bigger cedar? So many decisions. I don't know what to do. Anyway, right, we'll get this finished. I'll just go and get a trailer in a minute because out of the harvester must be filling up. I'm not sure what canola is selling for at the moment. But because we've got pig food on hand for the pigs, any crops now, I'm not storing them. I don't need to store them. And um, we can sell it all. So, actually, that's the other thing. So I'm back in the menu again. Uh, let's go along to our canola. Right, we've got 90,159 in storage. Uh, British grain is 1326 that's the best price um so we can we can just we can sell it all can't we i mean yeah like i say we've got pig food stored away the barley and wheat i'm going to keep hold of actually mm, yeah we've got two fields of barley we've got that one there and we've got our new field over there field 14 do we need to keep hold of it or can we sell it as well i mean technically we can we can supply some of the um, some of the maltings that are going to help some of the local breweries. Why not? Why not? 
Right, so what I will do then is I'll do this section up here, which is what I said, I'll do that corner up there. There we go, I knew we'd have a full grain tank pretty soon. So what I'll do is swap harvesters. So I'll let this one carry on because it's not as much in this. We'll put the, swap the workers over. I'll move that one out of the way so I can still have a harvester running while I unload the other harvester. And then we'll move both over. Whoa! God, that got a bit light on the old... Uh, light on the old doodars. Mind I don't clip headers. It's the last thing we need. Right. Stop you there. Beacons off. I do love those like LED, almost like strobe beacons. Oops, rather than the rotating ones. Right, I'm off to go and get a trailer. Let's go. Oh, missed a little clump up here. Oh yeah, the bit I went, I drove through. So we need to sort that out as well. Mustn't forget. See, so yeah, once this one's empty, I'll just use this one for then clearing out around the sides. There we go. Excellent. So I'll get this cleared. Um, we need to also check how we're looking at. Yeah, so that's what I was told. These are going to get darker because I need to. It's going to take me ages, isn't it? I mean, I think I'm at that point. I've got to resoil sample everything. Uh, that's a lot lighter because. I extended the field, it kind of went at an angle up, so it went up at an angle, kind of up to there, then from there across at an angle. So I extended all that field out, but I never re soil sampled all the new section. So when I re soiled the new section, that's why it kind of went like that. So in doing 13 and 14, it's, I think I'm going to have to spend a bit of time, I think probably a lot of time. <laughs> redoing everything aren't I oh it's going to take so long 26,900 pipe in let's go over at field 13 in a little while It's interesting, it's a big old harvester. Ar harvester. Um, and you'd expect it to be able to take a header that big. There seems to be a lot of weight over that front axle. I thought it would be a little bit more balanced than that, but. So I'm sure, pretty sure these bigger harvesters can take longer headers as well, like 50 footers. Now something interesting has happened. Uh, you are the guinea pigs. You are the test subjects for something I'm trying out. Um, I was thinking about what I spoke about, about streaming. And something I spoke about the other day about wearing a headset. And I don't actually have the sound coming through um, my headset. I always have it, the gameplay just coming out on TV as normal. So I thought, I wonder, because unfortunately the PlayStation controller, if you plug your mic in, it plugs in with the phono jack. Um, 
And on PS4 I tried to hook up a regular USB mic and it wouldn't work. So I, I just typed in on the internet, uh, will a USB mic work on the PS5? And apparently they're now, it's a compatible thing. Um, so I went online and ordered myself a desk mic. Then realised, once I'd ordered it, that I've actually got a Razer desk mic in a box that was given to me by someone. Um, so I thought I'll plug it in and try it. And it works. So I'm giving it a go now. There might be a bit of an echo and I might need to have a bit of a tweak with the sound levels. But in the test recordings I've done, it seems to work all right. Then it suddenly dawned on me, I've got my Rode mic that's plugged into my PC, which I originally got for doing streaming using the Elgato and that kind of thing. So potentially I could plug that in and that could work as well. So that this bit of recording is being done using the desk mic. I don't have a headset on, which means I'm free to wear silly hats and masks and I don't know why I would, but you know, you know anything like that, I, I just can. Um, so hopefully this is recording fine. The other thing, when we turn around and come back the other way, that is very fortuitous. Um, I've just bought these two fields, 13 I'm on, 14 which is there. And we hook on to 12 which is just over there which we own. And we've got all these trees in between and this gap here between them all. And I thought, hmm, I wonder, let's just stop a second and raise the header. Um, if we go on to here, if I clear out a few trees there, and plow out that gap between there and clear out the trees that are here I could blend all three and have a big field I mean not on the scale of 16 but it'd be our biggest field we own yet so I thought you know what that's something I could do in an episode we could you know we could clear that out I could choose the devourer and you know um, we you know we could have a go at that and here's the weird thing as I was doing that, my Discord server pinged. I went on, because I follow Black Sheep Modding and a few other people, and there's a post by Black Sheep Modding. And it goes a little bit like this. It says, Hi farmers, we are pleased to announce the first mod we are making for FS22, all platforms, is the monstrous, the monstrous Beaverator 1600 Tub Grinder. The 1600 Tub Grinder combines Beaverator's brand by BSM uh, robust construction with the latest technology with its huge 4 meter rotating tank and t uh, 1050 horsepower engine it is ideal tool for cleaning up your large clearing areas it can swallow a whole tree in a few seconds and transform it into chips and thanks to its conveyor belt which goes up to a height of 5 meters you will be able to prepare large piles it is equipped with a transport system on wheels and a semi-trailer hitch and in transport mode it is 15 metres long. It then goes on to say that in addition they have um, updated their website. Um, it, I, I just, it was so weird that I was thinking, oh yeah, I could use that. And, and then I thought, yeah, when FS22 comes out we won't have the, the, the Devourer or any of those things anymore. So, But that post popped up, so all good. The thing is, hopefully you didn't hear that, because what I was also doing was testing out the mute function of the mic, because I just had another coughing fit. Oh, I'm having a nightmare. Um, so yeah, this, this will be a separate chunk of recording. I will check this to make sure it's okay. And if the sound is all absolutely fine, because the problem is if the sound level's too high on the mic and I turn the sound right down, you'll lose the sound of the vehicles. And I have a fiddle around and see if we can get it to work. Um, so I'm going to clear this field 13, then we'll move all this over to field 12, because that's got canola in it as well. Um, I've already taken 52,000 litres and put it into the silo. Uh, we'll see how much we've got in total. And like I said, we are going to be selling everything. That harvest is not going to be able to turn around because I've left the trailer there. So what we'll do is, let's just stop there, raise that, turn it off. We'll move that. And we'll get that out of the way, and it should turn around. Without too much of a problem. Fantastic. Move that right out. So yeah, everything seems to be going absolutely swimmingly. It's all good news. Um, and like I say, I just, it feels odd. It, it just feels freer because I haven't got a cable hanging down. I haven't, you know, I've often found sometimes when I'm recording, you can hear the clonk of the um, 
mic uh, or the cable for the headset this will it will negate that like I said I may have a go at trying the, the road mic because if the sound quality is way way better using that then I'll, I might switch to using that um, but yeah give it a go see what happens what's the worst can happen <laughs> this sound recording could be appalling and I have to abolish the whole thing we'll see right onwards to field 12 Well, I've kind of checked the previous recording. It seems a little bit bassy, but it does seem to be working. So, you know what? I'm kind of happy with that. I probably will do some more mic testing using the Rode mic and see if I can get a, a little bit of the bass out. Although I don't mind it. it. You know, I think had it been right from the start, you probably wouldn't notice. But because it goes from recording with my mic on my headset to that, there's a de definite change. But anyway, it's, it's working. We'll give it a go and see how we progress. Field 12, we are almost complete. We have a full trailer load of 52,000 sitting there. We've got that one there on the GNU, which is empty at the moment. And we've got what we had in storage initially was 90,000 litres, and I've put uh, one load in, over there at the other farm, at Brompton. The rest, because it's all been over this side, I've put into the silo directly ahead of us. So in total, in storage we've got about 250,000 litres I think it is pretty sure it's 250,000 litres I turn it off uh, we want to do that do that that um, I was going to close the harvester off which I did with the other one but then we've got barley fields to harvest next which I'm, I might do off camera I've got so much to do off camera I, I really do give myself so much to do there we go, uh, pipe out. So yeah, um, I'll double check that in a second. What I will do is take the load that I've got in the front trailer, we'll take that to be sold. There we go. That's unloading. So in storage we have got, let's have a look. 
246,159 litres of canola, plus the 52 there, plus the, what was it, 18? I didn't even look at see how much we had in there. Once that's finished transferring over, we'll see what we've got. Uh, the price at British Grains is falling, but it's still the highest price at the moment. Let's hop into the GNU. I think it's going to be about 18,000. So we'll be over 300,000 litres in total. So we'll sell all that. Uh, the other thing I was going to say was, I was thinking if we go, if we sell all of that, I was thinking of replacing the GNU for a, another tract tractor. Uh, oh, 19481, that's alright. Because it is quite loud. I love it, but the engine sound is quite loud. But, I was looking at all the other ones, and that's a 700 horsepower. The wheeled version is 800 horsepower. But there's some tracked ones that will go up to 646, 696, and there's a whole lot of modded ones, obviously. But, this runs at 40 miles an hour. All the others are all like 24, and I thought, hmm... You know what? I'm prepared to part with the noise <laughs> for the extra speed. So, yeah, I mean, that's kind of where we're at. So what I'm going to do, I'll take this load. We'll go the roadway. Let's get the older beacons on. And what I'm going to do is stick those on. Uh, I'm really hoping, and I'm probably going to do a video or when I get when I get my copy on PS5 of FS22. It will be FS22 plus PS5 plus side panel do they work together <laughs> i'm really hoping and people will say in the comments of course they will no, no of course they will about it they, uh, they should do they might do the weird thing about it is the side panel shouldn't really work with console anyway it's a pc side panel it's designed to work with pc it just works on console there's no reason to say it won't work on ps5 but it is one of my biggest concerns at the moment because I honestly, I still have people asking me, um, you know, is it worth the money? Do you? Oh man, I, honestly, I, I couldn't live without it. I've said that before. I, it's awesome. I love my side panel, and I've said it when we go away on holiday. If I don't take it with me, I feel lost. If I'm taking my stuff away to record and I take my PlayStation and I often I'll take a screen because I don't know what screen there's going to be there. Um, and if Mrs. Silly P wants to watch TV and I want to do some recording or something, then she can. But I honestly, I go, I like to reach out for it all the time for the, the button configurations and all the various different things. It's odd without, you know, I'm going to switch to there because, well, everything's flashing. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it just works, you know. Oh, you know what I didn't check in the last recording? I'll have to check that when I go back and edit. When I said about coughing and I put the mute on, I didn't check to see if it muted it. I feel a tickle in my throat. Let's do it again. Who knows? So, we're off to British Grains. We'll sell this first load, and the rest I will do off camera. I've got all of that soil sampling to do, and I'm going to probably... Uh, I've got a load of stuff I want to do on SnowRunner. There's a load of contracts I want to try and finish off. Because I'm, I feel like I'm up against the clock now. With the game due out in just over a week, I want to finish some stuff off, because I know as soon as the game releases, I'm going to be snowed under. And that's a good thing. I want to be snowed under. I want to be wowed and I want to be bouncing from thing to thing to thing and excited and not knowing, like, like a kid at Christmas. What do I play with first? You know, what do I do first? What do I look at first? I want, I want that, you know? So, the SnowRunner videos will take a back burner again until I have spare time to play. I just envisage not having a lot of spare time. The other thing is, myself and Mrs. City P booked over a year ago <laughs> Um, to go away and we're going away for a week I'm taking my stuff with me but I did say to her I think the game will have only been out two weeks when we go away so how much stuff I would have actually already filmed, put up and done I don't know at that point so obviously while we're away the internet's not great for the time it takes to upload videos but I will do my best 
And British Grains is this one here, isn't it? Question is... Oh dear, can I do this one in cab? I'm not sure because I can't see the back of the trailer there. Turn that on tight without hitting the fence. Okay, that was fairly tight, but not too bad. What I need to do? Open the door. Is that one there? <laughs> Threading the needle. Ha oh, ha this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Skills to pay the bills. Let's see if I've got what it takes, or I'm just a pretender. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just up a little bit. <sighs> Skills. Right. Let's unload that. Can turn those off. And with that, we have come to the end of this episode. Uh, I am seriously considering what I said about um, clearing all that, f that woodland and the strips between and having one big field there. I might still do that. But I, like I said, I've got a load of soil sampling to do now. We've got barley harvests I need to do. Uh, if I'm going to clear that, I'll do that probably part on video, part off video. Uh, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Everything else is ticking along rather nicely. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying it. If you have, and if you are, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.